For us, the line between home and work is very fluid. Sometimes we talk about the project and then we will talk about the children and then back to the project again and there's this very dynamic interaction back and forth between the two and that's a big part of our source of creativity. Movement is a great catalyzer for us to start our creative process. Already when we are commuting to the office, we are starting to talk about the ideas that we want to develop further, and our best ideas have come when we're on the road or on a hike. On one of these long hikes, we had the idea of submitting a proposal to Free Innovation and of focusing on short-sightedness in children. The reason why we decided to look at short-sightedness is because it is a personal problem for both of us. So when we heard about free innovation, we started to consider seriously how we could address this problem with our work and decided to submit the proposal. We're both physicists coming from the same field of fundamental research. Roman's more into the technical nitty-gritty, whereas I'm more into the big picture. And so in this project, as in our life, we're a great man. We decided to build glasses that measure at the same time the behavior of the eyes and the environment so that we could try to find out why so many people are becoming myopic. Although there's been a lot of great work being done to try and understand the root causes of myopia, none of them are on the same level of very measurement-based approach that we are going to use. And so we are very happy that free innovation has allowed us to test our approach. For us, free innovation is like going on a long hike that we really love. We're free to explore and to be creative and to do the kind of science that we've always wanted to do. In many ways, through this work, we have become more open-minded and creative. <laughs>